the traditional banking sector many questions around those mainly uh, we see a surge of fintech companies offering one or the other solution which are very specific to the retail lenders in the form of peer to peer lending and uh, even to the industry lenders and also if we look into the kind of debt equity ratio for the corporates then the corporate debts they are largely reducing the debt dependence in terms of their debt equity ratio and uh, that is something uh, that was the classic space for banks to offer loans and earn money so this credit demand from the industry sector the corporates has reduced and is to reduce in the coming years what we observe as the trend they are looking they are looking for uh, money from equity holders in terms of we see the buy and stock market what we have in india and even from abroad and the corporate debts they are issuing so those are the forms of uh, money fund being raised by the corporates the retail lenders the capacity is limited we have seen difficult couple of years during the uh, covid period and uh, so lo- not much consumption based economy is driven as observed over the past couple of years so retail lending is also being questioned uh, in terms of near future on how how much dependency can be there and with the advent of fintech and particular solutions by startups and other in this industry uh, retail lending is again uh, a business uh, we don't know how certain it is for the banking traditional banking sector in this context definitely the government should expedite the privatization of the banks traditional banks because running them profitably will be difficult the kind of lending they are doing is largely uh, in the priority sectors what we have seen in the emergency credit lines for msmes or fpos or other areas where they are lending but uh, the the amount of npa being generated uh, the risk is high and and we we are observing the accumulated non performing assets sitting on these traditional banks which are very questionable a few may claim that these npas have reduced but those have reduced by booking write offs booking a loss for these banks so we need to be carefully understanding that banks are looking for losses through these npas and even when the arcs are purchasing these M- npas that's at a very high haircuts so again overall the banking sector is being uh, held victim of this financial ecosystem what we have the economic conditions what we have and they need to act agile and work with the startup fintechs and understand how to operate in this market thank you